Hey guys, Little Geeko Airsoft here. Today we're back with another video. I know it's been a really long time, about two, three months, I don't know. Uh, it's been a really long time, and I'm sorry about that. Um, one thing really quick, sorry if you hear some weird noises. There's a train going by right now, and uh, I don't know if the background is messy or anything. It's uh, this here is my side of the room, and that's my roommate's side, so but yeah. Um, anyways, I don't think it's, it's not really that bad, but... Uh, Anyway, so today's video is um, our Q&A that I said I was going to do because I, I, I was I wanted to do a video over over Christmas break and I just got back today was my first day of school. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I was like, I wanted to do a video before then and I was just really like stressed out with finals and stuff. And then I wanted to do a video over break, but I just, you know, wanted to catch up on sleep and spend time with my family for Christmas. And so, yeah, uh, I never got a video done, unfortunately. So. And I was wondering, I was thinking, you know, oh, I don't know what video I could do because I, I need to do one. But I remembered that I did a QA. and a uh, And so, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I think actually we hit 1,200 subscribers already or close to that within like five. So, um, thank you guys for that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, at the end of this video, go ahead and comment down below more questions. And I'm just going to keep a Q&A thing going all the time. So, uh, I'm just going to read here. I have the, on my iPad, I have the other videos. So I'm just reading the comments. Uh, let's see. So, um, I'm totally going to pronounce this so wrong, but Umar Farouk, I really have no idea how to pronounce that, but, uh, he says, hi bro, can you do another giveaway, please, please? Yes, there will be another giveaway sometime in the future, um, not right now since one just ended and I don't really have anything to give away, but, uh, definitely there will be more giveaways going on in this channel. Um, let's see. It's me, Luke, says, um, do you plan on being a YouTuber for your main job once in the real world or get another job? Um, so I've actually been thinking about this recently. Um, uh, a school came, like a college, a university came to our school and uh, donated some cameras that they were retiring, or a camera actually, and they taught like a, uh, film class for like how to, I don't know, it was like we made a documentary and so I signed up for that and did that. And so because of YouTube, I've been doing YouTube, making videos for so long, and like I, um, I always thought I wanted to be like an engineer because I love creating things. I made like, I, I mean, I think uh, you saw the video of the grenade launcher I posted, um, that I made. I mean, I, I made like a rocket launcher too, the, like with compressed air and PVC and stuff like that. I've always loved making things, I wanted to be an engineer, but then, you know, I started YouTube and stuff and this happened, I'm thinking I'm gonna, I might go into film. So, and if I'm, you know, doing film, I'll probably continue YouTube, but probably not as an airsoft channel, but I really don't know. I might still, you know, while I'm in college or uh, after college, I'll still definitely play airsoft. So I might, might just record some games and stuff and post that. But yeah, I'm thinking about going into film. So, hope that answers your question. Um, Jessica Davis says, what are your feelings on the G&G Combat Machine CM16 series? Uh, the G&G Combat Machines are fairly good guns for a low budget. My, uh, like, three of my friends have the G&G Combat Machine Raider Shorty. Um, that's actually my favorite out of the Combat Machines, so, um, yeah, I would probably get one of those over the CM16. So, yeah, but, uh, they're good guns. G&G no is known for their, uh, good gears to, uh, hold up and... Yeah, they're good guns for a beginner, so low-budget guns. Um, Chance Janokai, <laughs> I'm so sorry for butchering your name, but uh, they say, um, do you still plan on airsofting after high school? I do. Um, I plan to just, you know, keep airsofting for, for life. <laughs> um, I really love the sport, and I'm hoping, you know, someday I'll have a kid, and maybe he'll enjoy the sport too, and that's something we can do together. That'd be pretty cool. Um, Airlock Airsoft says, will you come back to YouTube after high school? Um, yeah, um, that's, that's the plan, is after high school I'm gonna do YouTube, whether it's Airsoft or film or whatever I can do. I mean, I just love making videos, so definitely want to do that. Um, Team Phantom AJ says, will you still do Little Gecko Gaming? That is actually something that I'm thinking about starting up again because the channel I just posted like two videos and they're really bad. I had a terrible mic and stuff like that, but I got a new headset 
and uh, I got actually a decent gaming recording software. I can't afford one of those like hardware things that are expensive, but um, I'm thinking about doing that. I'm thinking about uh, um, bringing my computer up here to the dorm and uh, I'll be able to post some videos like that. So that could be a possibility. I, not for sure, but I would like to do that. Um, Caleb21 says, why did you start YouTube? Um, I think I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link in the description to my first YouTube video I ever made. My voice is like really high. It's like um, I, I my first YouTube video is on a totally different channel. I um I was, it's like showing you how to make a paper gun because I was totally into that. I've like always been into guns, but never had um a real gun or airsoft guns. And so I would make paper guns, and then I got into airsoft and that kind of died because airsoft is way cooler than making paper guns that shoot nerf darts. So, uh, but yeah, um, I started airsoft, I mean, I started uh, YouTube just cause I honestly, I have no idea. That was like four years ago, five years ago. So, I mean, I don't really remember why, but I have a passion for it and I love doing it. So, um, Jessica Davis again says, how would you rate yourself on the scale of awesomeness? I don't know. What do you guys think? You go ahead and rate me in the comments below. <laughs> like, I can't rate myself. Um, Denny Cross says, would you choose a sniper or a rapid pistol? A sniper, but a good sniper. The one that I have is not very good. If I could get one upgraded, like really good and shooting perfect and everything, that would be beautiful. That's so much fun. Be like an aggressive sniper. Um, let's see. What is this? Uh, okay, I'm totally gonna screw this up, but Gulermo Lazazga said, um, how did you get introduced into Airsoft? So uh, when I was, I don't know, I think like eight, I think I might've answered this on my last Q&A, but when I was eight years old, I um, we had BB guns and stuff, and then uh, our neighbors had airsoft guns, and um, but just like Springer's little pistols, twenty dollars. And so, uh, didn't really know like what it was. Um, but uh, me and my brother were at Walmart one day um, with my mom, and uh, we saw a pistol, some airsoft pistols that were twenty dollars each. And so, my parents have always done this; they'll, they'll like match us on stuff. So I only had to pay ten dollars out of the twenty dollars um, for the gun, like for when I got like, you know those Nintendo DS's, those were like super cool, I had to pay half of that. Um, it's good, it teaches you how to respect your things and learn money and stuff. But uh, yeah, so we bought those and just shot stuff in the backyard. Um, now you know that's not legal, exactly, at least where I live. Um, sorry if there's noise, there's people running around in the dorm. But, uh, but yeah, so now they won't match me on the guns that I buy now because they're a lot more expensive than that $20 one. But yeah, we just uh, shot up stuff in the backyard and then one time my grandparents kind of live up in the mountains and um, we had uh, we went up there and brought our airsoft guns and um, we didn't I didn't even know that airsoft was a sport at this time. I didn't know you're supposed to I didn't know I didn't know airsoft guns were made to shoot people. Like um but so we we didn't have any idea. We just we shot each other and had our own little wars. And I mean like um before that we would we like we would just have someone like stand like 20 feet away with like their back facing you and like go like this so they wouldn't get hit in the eye or the ear or anything. And we'd just like shoot each other, like unload a mag on each other, just take turns getting shot. And so, uh, yeah, it was just something really fun we did. And then uh, I think it was two, two years ago, about, about the time, a little after, I mean a little before, a few months before I started this YouTube channel, I really saw how big Airsoft really is and the good guns and stuff and stuff like that. I think it was sixth grade and now I'm a freshman, so three years ago. So yeah, um, yeah, so that's how I got into Airsoft. I think there's another question on here. I don't, mm, um, Purple Alligator said, what do you want to do as a career? I kind of already answered that. I uh, want to go into film. Uh, Solar X Sniper says, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> not at the moment, I do not. So, yeah. And then someone suggested to do a loadout video. I actually want to do one of those, but I have to be home to do that, so, yeah. Um, anyways, guys, um, hope this video wasn't too long. Hope it was pretty entertaining. Um, go ahead and comment down below, um, more questions that you have. We'll just keep the Q&A going. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. <laughs> Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, have a good day. See you guys in the next video.